Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Brenda. Happy Wednesday. I hope you've all been having a fabulous week so far. We're going to do Caroline's challenge this week. Uh, we're on week 42. And if you don't know what that is, every Sunday, uh, Caroline puts out five prompts and you can create anything that you want to create with them. It can be, <clears throat> excuse me, an art piece, a journal page, tags, journal cards, whatever you interpret them to be, then you create whatever it is that you would like to do. So we're on week 42 and their prompts are paper doily, heart, map, envelope, and flower. If you don't have something, that's okay. Just replace it with something that you feel is closest to um, what she has here. All right, and then just relax, have fun, and enjoy yourself. So if you've been uh, doing this with me every week, grab your uh, prompts and let's play. I have some stuff here. I have a little doily. I I cut these hearts out and I used a die cut. I'm just going to show you what I did. I have a die cut and instead of going out and using my machine, I laid it down and I took a thin piece of paper and then I just took my um well you can take anything you want. You can have a bone folder can take the edging of your scissors like this and I just run across them and Liz my friend Liz she is the paper project here on YouTube and she does this and she shows you as well but then you get the imprint I don't think you can see that but it cuts right through and that's how I got those two hearts just like that and then I have my envelope. I have a map piece. This is just for uh, a Calgary map. I have a paper doily and I have a bunch of flowers here. But what I was thinking on doing, well, I thought of one thing and then <clears throat> changed my mind. I'm gonna do something else. So I want to do a, um, a bunch of flowers. So I guess the best way to do that, I'm going to use my doily as the holder for my flowers. Very simple. I just kind of cornered it to look like a cone, just like that. And I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to the edge to hold it. And just at the solid piece of uh, paper there, just to hold it shut. And I can add more glue to it as I go, like down at the bottom here. I just didn't want to put so much there and have it close on me. I want to be able to put stuff down in there. You can add your flowers first if you want. They can be stickers, whatever you want them to be. I did uh, dye my, dye, oh boy, inked up the edges of my envelope. And I just would like to do a few things to this first. Oh, that does go that way. So I, I did the two hearts, I don't know. If I want to put both on, they can come off the edge like so. You can keep that as a tuck spot if you'd like or glue these and have just up here as a tuck spot. Um, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'll glue the bottom if my glue decides it's going to work today. Never fails, right? You get, you start your video and then your glue is stubborn. So I just put glue on the edge on the corner there and I'm just gonna bring it up. Bring 
bring it over, maybe. <laughs> Just like that. I had to get a smaller envelope because my book isn't very big. But just trying to figure out. I'll probably glue it there, but I just need to make sure that it's not going to go over the flap because I want to use the envelope as an, an, another pocket. Right, so I'm just going to do that, glue it down. I want to thank everyone for all of your birthday messages yesterday, all the emails and the videos. It was just so special. And I thank you all. And we're still doing our uh, birthday month of giveaways. So that has been going well. I've just been, I just did a huge mailing and we're going to have more this week. I mean, it's going right to the end of October. So what better reason to have giveaways than my birthday? All right, so I left this bit open, but if I want it to be a pocket, I'd best add a touch of glue here. Otherwise, things are just going to fall out. Sorry if I'm off screen. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue at the sides. And then something can go in there, like one of these can go in there. That's cute. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to put it right to the, you know, confines of the envelope. I, it's nice if it's going to come off as well. It doesn't have to be on there completely. All right. I just left the glue off of the corners. There we go, and then that can fit in there nice. But before that, I'm gonna grab my little bouquet here. And then get some flowers. These are my Tim Holtz flowers. You all know how much I like Tim Holtz and you can glue them in if you want you can set them in I will glue them I'm just going to uh, add a few little bits in there first and then you know one can go on the top of it actually I'm not even gonna do that I'm gonna glue them in I'm just gonna do it just put a little line Have them sticking out, Ooh, or to me. <laughs> oh yeah. These flowers go on their side, but it's okay. It's all in your perception. And then there's this one. That one can sit up top. Oh yeah, cute. Slide it in. That. And then I think I'm going to pop this little one just on the top there, just like that. That's very cute. Oops. Hmm. Got a little piece. It's 
trying to break off, so it's a good thing I'm going to use it and glue it down, I think. And then hopefully it'll stay. What a quick project, like wowzers. It's just boom, done. And then maybe I'll just pop it up like that. Come on, <sighs> hard time picking it up, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I have stickers as well, like you can use whatever flowers that you want, right? Like these are stickers, they can just go right down inside, but I kind of like the Tim Holtz in there. Just that top flower is kind of dull, but um, there you go. And then this one can be removed and it can put in whatever project you want it to go in. So let me get those out of the way. Just pop it there because then there's still room. You can still pop that in the pocket. That just adds another little element to it. And this you can have as a tuck spot as well. You know how I am with pockets and, and duck spots, but I'm just going to glue it all down. Just like that. I'm just going to make sure the glue isn't there because I don't want to interfere with the, with the pocket that's there. And then you can still see the hearts. You can still see the map. Looks kind of busy, but you know, I really like it. And then you have this really big pocket back here. And then you can add ephemera bits in there. I mean, you don't have to stop here. You can add other elements. You know, there's the butterfly. I think that's the only, well, he's pretty big, but I mean, you can add a butterfly to it and it just adds another element. Right? Like, hmm, Lee, that was quick. And we're done. <laughs> but we're going to have another giveaway, so stay tuned to the end. We've got another giveaway coming. So here's our massive, massive journal. Have to hold it closed. Even then, it doesn't want to stay closed. So let's find a page. I need it on a page where it's going to flip out this way. Here's an empty page. And then this can go on just like that. Let me just move this and then it opens up like that. You can add it with a paper clip if you want. You can glue the flap down like you can glue it on two sides and have it as a tuck spot. I think I'm going to do that. Just add glue to the two sides. There we are. Very nice. And then this is a this is a big huge tuck spot just like that. And then when you have it, sorry, just get that out of the way have to move all these things and then there's our flip and then our pocket quick easy so much fun all right so week 42 we have our paper doily we have our heart we have a map on the envelope and we have our flower bunch there so that is my Caroline's Craft Tree Weekly Challenge, week 42. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope you've been, you know, crafting along and doing this too. And have you been putting all your stuff in a journal? What do you do with your stuff that you create? Are you gifting it? Do you have it all put away for uh, certain journals that you make? How are you doing yours? I'd really like to know. Because I can't wait to go through this. There's just so much going on. 
and I still have empty pages, if you can believe it, in all of this. Still empty pages, so that's amazing. All right, I'm just going to set this aside because it's giveaway time. I don't even know what giveaway this is, but we have been just having the most fun this month, giving gifts away, crafts away. Uh, like I, when I, whenever I do my giveaways, I always try to include things I've created, things we've done on camera together, uh, different book pages, and just all kinds of different elements is what I like to include. So, and I, I from the response, I know you guys have been enjoying it as well. So. Here are two more winners for this week. Sherry S. And these are taken from Monday's video, just so you know. So Sherry S. And I have a new subscriber. Her name is Cindy, but she's called Shenandoah Papercraft. Shenandoah Papercraft, something like that. I'm sorry if I've totally butchered it. I do not have your address, Cindy, so if you could please email me, I'll leave my email in the description box, and give me a, a shout through email. Please send me your address because I'm excited to send out some goodies. All right? Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Love ya. If you're new here, I'm so happy that you came. I'm hoping that you'll continue to watch and comment and all that goodness. All right. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.